hello everyone uh, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have 8 to the power of x is equals to 80 uh, and we solve this problem for all the values of x and you see here this is the exponential equation with variable x uh, so here uh, we solve this problem with the help of logarithm so now here the very first thing we are going to do is first we take log on both of the sides and it will be written as log of 8 to the power of x is equals to log of 80 and now further in the next step we use here the nice property of log and you know about that if we have log of a to the power of m it is equals to m times of log a so according to this uh, first property of log uh, we write our above equation as uh, here we move uh, this exponent x in the front of this log according to this property uh, above equation is written as x times of log 8 is equals to log of 80 and now here in the next step uh, we need to focus in the right hand side so we rewrite our right hand side as x times of log 8 is equals to here we break this 80 as uh, 8 times of 10 and now uh, here in the right hand side we apply another property of log uh, so this is the second property of log you know that if we have log of a multiplied by b it is equals to log of a plus log of b according to this property of log we write uh, our right hand side as in this form uh, so we have x times of log 8 is equals to log of 8 plus log of 10 so uh, because we solve this problem for the values of x so that in the left hand side we need to remove or eliminate this log 8 so in order to eliminate this log 8 we divide both of the sides by each of these terms by log of 8 in this form okay so here we divide each of these terms by log of 8 and you see here this log 8 is cancelled out by this log 8 and this log 8 is cancelled out by this log 8 uh, so we will get here uh, x is equals to uh, here we get 1 plus this is log of 10 and we write this 10 as 2 multiplied by 5 and it is divided by this is log of 8 and we write our 8 as into the prime factors form so it will become here 2 cubed so further in the next step we have x is equals to 1 plus uh, here in the numerator term we apply uh, the first pro we apply the second property of log uh, this property and in the denominator term we apply the first property of log and this property so after applying the above uh, two properties we write these terms as log of 2 plus log of 5 divided by here uh, we move this 3 uh, in the front of this log and it will becomes 3 times of log 5. So uh, in the next step here we need more simplifications and here we break this fraction and after breaking of this fraction we write it as log of 2 divided by 3 times of log 2 plus from here we have log of 5 divided by 3 times of log 2 and now you see here this log 2 is cancelled out by this log 2 and now here uh, we uh, get after cancellation of terms we have 1 plus here we get 1 over 3 plus here we apply another property of log so according to this property we combine these two logs and it will be written as 1 over 3 times of log 5 with base 2 and now we uh, need to take the LCM of these two terms and 1 plus 1 over 3 is equals to 4 over 3 and plus here we get 1 over 3 times of log 5 with base 2 so finally we have this is the our final values of x in this problem and now uh, here in the next step we need to uh, verify uh, this value of x and here we check that is this value of x is 
satisfied our given question statement or not. So, uh, for verification of the values, we first need to copy down given question statement here. It is 8 to the power of x equals to 80. And now here, uh, we substitute the above value of x into the left hand side of this equation. And it will be written as 8 to the power of 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 times of log 5 with base 2 and we check that is, is, is it equals to 80 or not. So for the next step uh, here uh, we, we need some working uh, to check that is both of the sides are equal or not. Uh, so here first we need to write our base of this uh, left hand side as this is 8 and we write into the prime factors form and its prime factors are 2 cubed and its exponent is 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 times of log 5 with base 2 and we check that is this equals to 80 or not. So here further in the next step uh, we uh, use here the nice exponential law you know about this life we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n according to this exponent law here we multiply this three on each of these terms okay so after multiplying this exponent we write our above equation as 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 4 over 3 plus Again, we multiply this 3 on this term, it will become 3 multiplied by 1 over 3 times of log 5 with base 2. And here we check that is this equals to 80 or not. And now here further in the next step, uh, here we need to cancel the terms. So you see here this 3 and this 3 are gone and we get here 2 to the power of 4 plus. From here this 3 and this 3 are gone. And we will get here uh, 2 to the power of 4 plus log of 5 with base 2 and we check that is this equals to 80 or not. And here we apply uh, the exponential law again so we break the exponent of this term and after applying this exponent law we write it as 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of log of 5 with base 2 and we check that is this equals to 80 or not. So here you see that 2 to the power of 4 uh, is equals to 16 and here we apply another property of log and you see and this property of log is equals to uh, so this 2 and this log are gone and we will get here only 5 and here we check that is this equals to 80 or not. So here further in the next step. Uh, 16 times of 5 is equals to 80 equals to 80. So this shows that uh, the value of x is equals to uh, 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 times of log 3. We write it here. Uh, this value of x is satisfied over given question statement. So this is the final answer of this problem. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.